and here we are we are live hello everyone for star trek adventures yay yay, yay. <laughs> uh, hi paul so uh paul has said he's ready for star wars oh star trek <laughs> get out yeah. get in the warp core <laughs> oh, that's mine <laughs> that, oh yes sorry that's your seat isn't it yeah um, Davok, yes uh so oh thank you uh thank you paul yes uh it's a good old intro um so we are picking up straight from where we left off last episode uh so to catch everyone up uh the uss livingston a defiant class prototype ship um has just been to risa to pick up some new members of her crew um and on the journey away from risa we've had a little bit of a tale haven't we uh from commander elin Rao, and everyone really was involved in the tale uh who'd like to share the story of what happened it was a, a tale of glory and epic achievement by us all, led by me. But what a team, what a team we were. Six, that's how many we got off the Kobayashi Maru, six. Six. <laughs> yeah. But that's pretty much out of 15. Come on, talking yeah. percentage. Kobayashi Maru is about percentages, not about bodies. Yeah, but how many crew did you lose? Um, needs of the many, needs of the few. <laughs> I was happy with that. Look, it was it was a it was a Vulcan taking the uh, officiating the test. So you know, play to your teacher. I say. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> Fantastic. So it was a it was an enthralling story um, to entertain uh, your captain. Um, and indeed, just as you got to the end of the story, an incoming message. Um, from Starbase 80 came up and you had the image of Admiral Janeway on the view screen who said, Captain Liera, one of our ships is missing. And this is where we pick up. <clears throat> so, Admiral Janeway is explaining that the USS, I've got this name right, um, Alcubierre, <clears throat> excusing my pronunciation. Bon dieu. Um, yeah, the USS Alcubierre has disappeared whilst running tests in um, a fairly empty part of space, just on the edge uh, of the of, of claimed space. So it's on the edge of the Federation, um, next to a a no man's land. Uh, if you will um, and it was running tests on a new style of warp drive uh, one that will hopefully uh, avoid ships doing damage to subspace when they go over warp 5 they've not been heard of for a week and the USS Livingston is the closest ship and needs to go and investigate Sounds like a job for us. Uh, indeed. So after a bit of um, repartee between Captain Liera and Admiral Janeway, um, the coordinates have been given um, and Captain Liera asks you to set the coordinates and says, Commander Raul, punch that button. Activating warp drive now, Captain. Indeed. And you set off in search of the USS Alcubierre. I'm going to have to keep looking at the name. <laughs> For some reason, it's not sticking. So, on. Yes, in, so Paul says it is a job for the A team, um, which unfortunately, then they're around. on land. No. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, I was like, where are they? <laughs> Till they turn up, we're going to have a look, see what the problem is, and then we'll call them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so is there anything you would like to know, find out, do en route? Uh, who's Mr. T in this scenario? <laughs> well, I'm driving. Oh, right. Okay. 
The good news is it's a van, Amy. That's what they drive. <laughs> and in <AP> space. Van. <laughs> so yeah. not, Amy will not be leaving the bridge. Um, is there any uh, any way we can bring up some information on the USS? He checks notes. Alcubierre. <laughs> yeah. Find out what uh, what type of what type of vessel we're coming up. Uh, we're uh, investigating. How many people are involved? Yeah. You absolutely. If it's more than six. Can um, the USS Alcubierre is an Oberth class Federation starship. Uh, so anybody who's uh, accustomed to uh, Wrath of Khan might recognise the USS Grissom. Look at that. Love it. Um, <laughs> I'll do some still shots for later. <laughs> <laughs> it is a technical test bed, the USS Alcubierre. Anything else you'd like to know? How many crew on board? Oh, that's a very good question. Uh, you don't have exact numbers uh, from the computer, but you do know it is minimal crew, um, as okay. is the, the usual case uh, with scientific test beds, just in case it all goes horribly, horribly wrong and materialises inside <laughs> an asteroid. Is And the last question being, they said it's been missing for a week. Is it usual for Starfleet to not hear from ships for over a week or so or no that's not common at all okay um, it indicates that something is wrong clearly all righty now i would say is there anything else you'd like to know but usher stated that is the last question so that shuts you all down no <laughs> uh, is there anything Shit. else you'd like to know uh, do we know what sort of um, experiments that they were doing with the warp drive? The details of the, the experimental warp drive are not in the computers. Um, however, there is mention about um, new ways of manipulating subspace. Okay. Is there anything anybody would like to do? Uh, any recommendations from the bridge for the captain? Uh, I'm still trying. Hmm. I know. Can we find out uh, anything about the ship's complement as it is? As in, do we know anything about the, the captain of the ship? Maybe any clues we could pick up that way? Who we may be having to deal with? We could probably get that from the, the uh, ship's computer regarding um, uh, rosters and uh, uh, staffing allocations. The uh, last record is that the captain is John Kelly, and there are uh, a list of names. Um, I mean, you're probably looking at about 100 people. Um, do you want to have a look through the whole list? I've mean, got time to go through the hole, but I mean, it depends how long it takes us to fly there. <laughs> I presume we can put something more entertaining than that on the view screen. You can. You've got <laughs> access to Spotify, Netflix, you know. <laughs> is is there anyone that, uh, having a cursory glance through the names, is there anybody's name that we recognise? Uh, well, uh, obviously you have known quite a few people, so there are the odd surnames here and there uh, but Bosch give me an insight and command uh, difficulty three no difficulty two check okay so that was I'm really happy Bosch is going first because I still got to remember how to play this game. Yeah. Do you know what? Um, I'm going to let you uh, have the computer help you on this. Uh, and here's where I need to um, remind myself how this game works. Uh, I need to call up <laughs> the stats of the ship. Uh, Livingston's got computers of nine. Uh, yes, computers and uh computers and sensors 
and it's the dice roll plus the attribute. Oh, it would be, um, be a system and a department, like we have um, like attribute and discipline. So it would be yes. computers and maybe maybe command or um, maybe medicine if Bosch is accessing from the medical bay. Bosch is, so I'll roll for the, the ship. Mm -hmm. um, but Bosch, I'd like you to roll uh, 2d20 for control and, sorry. No. Let's go insight and command. Okay, so the first one was 28, and the second one was... Ah, uh, you, you're not adding. Uh, what oh. you're trying to do is rolling under whatever those two figures add up to. Oh, in that case, no, to both of those. Okay, and you get no help from the computer. So you see in a list of, of names, um, as a Ferengi, um, human names are pretty weird yeah. anyway. So it all just... Look the same on a computer screen to you. Mergers. Um, did you happen to roll any 20s? I didn't. I got a 17 and an 18. Okay, fair enough. I thought I'd ask because if you'd rolled a 20, uh, I would have been... Creating complications. The computer blows up in my face. Kind of. <laughs> we do try. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Anything else we would like to do at this point? No, but I have just realised that the dice tray is the right colour. Yes! <laughs> Science! Okay. Nice. So you've arrived at the coordinates supplied um there is no alcubierre okay it's, it's quite is there large. anything on our sensors well I, is science going to do a sensor sweep yeah um, sensors would you like to do a local medium or long range sensor sweep i think a long range we can't see anything close I take it. Nope, there's nothing close by. Okay, give me a reason and science uh, roll with a difficulty of one. You will get assistance from the computer. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so you get one success from the computer. So let's see if you get any momentum. Okay, I got two successes. Two successes, fantastic. Yes. So you get two points of momentum. There we go. And that's team wide, isn't it? Momentum. Yeah, we all get to spend that together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so. Is that in a. Oh, go on. Oh, I was going to say the momentum that we. I know that you lose one momentum when transferring between scenes and whatnot, but but we don't actually have any momentum. All the momentum that we had in the Kobayashi Maru didn't carry over to yeah, real life, did it? No. Okay. No. All right. No. Just double checking. Um, absolutely. Okay. So uh, with your success, uh, you can indeed, you get a blip on your sensors. Uh, of an Oberth class starship. Uh, it's it's quite a distance away. It's outside of Federation space on the, so it's, so it's left Federation space and in unclaimed territory. Mm. Okay. I relay that. Mm. So would the um, captain like us to plot course for the Alcubier? Al uh, Captain Liera would indeed, um, and this is a. a, a different... Does Captain Liera refer to herself in third person? She does <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Three husbands, third person. <laughs> Got it. Captain um, Liera is very happy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, and indeed you set course, and it doesn't take you long to arrive close to the Alcubierre, well, the 
the Oberth class ship um, that you see. And indeed, now it's in visual range, you can see it is the Alcubierre. Um, it appears to be adrift. I think maybe a more in-depth scan, perhaps got sensors again that uh, yeah. more focused. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, with a more focused um, sensor scan, you can see that a lot of the power systems appear to be down. Um, there does appear to be some damage. Okay. What kind of damage are we talking? Does it look like something... It, does it look like it's been attacked, or does it look like something malfunctioned during its exercise? Would you like to spend a momentum to find that out? I think we can, because we can we can ask the direct question. <laughs> spend a yeah, I, um, I feel like we should. Looking over the sensor results, um, particularly working in security, you can see what appears to be some disruptor fire. Mm. From I'm gonna mention... looking at it. Do you want me to hail them, sir? Oh, sorry, talking to me. <laughs> or the captain. I don't know. We haven't established if she prefers a ma'am or a captain or a sir. Good uh, point. Captain the error at the moment is just sitting back and letting you take charge of the situation. Very good. Uh, try hailing frequencies, please, Mr. Bosch. Uh, and indeed, you do attempt hailing frequencies. It is a, a difficulty zero task. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to roll for it or not. So if you do roll and you get successes, you get momentum, but you do risk complications. I, yeah, think I have rolled. No, bravely done. <laughs> because go big or go home. Um, <laughs> and I got a, a one uh which is uh i basically got two uh, yeah i got a, a one and a 15 so one is two successes correct yeah, yeah critical okay. success uh you actually get three successes because you've got a success from the computer as well mm -hmm. uh, cool. on the ship rather so... hailing frequency is open <laughs> fantastic right. um actually it's doing oh, the yeah, really no. tough work over there bosh oh uh hailing frequencies are not open because there is no response. Oh, okay. Um, sensors, can we pick it, see if there are um, life, life signs on board and see if uh, what status the life support system is at on the ship? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, by directing your sensors. Uh, John, I'm going to invite you with the same, um, give you the same invitation, Amy. You can roll if you wish. It is a difficulty zero task. I I'll roll. <laughs> okay. Sensors and science. Uh, two successes, four and a five. Okay, and uh, let's see what the ship does. Oh, remember, Amy, what did you? What was your? What was your discipline that you used for that? Was it science? I assume so, but that's a four. Four. So oh, did you... is it even? Yeah, if it's equal to or less than the discipline you use, that counts as two successes as well. If you have a focus in some sort of computing or yes. sensors? Or... I do. I do have a focus in computers. Right, okay. Uh, so that is three, uh, three more bits of momentum. You are at your maximum momentum now. Just so you know. We are investigating this like a <laughs> investigating machine. Uh, and in We're going to investigate the crap out of this ship. <laughs> uh, with your scan, with your very, very successful scan, uh, you discover that, yes, life... Um, what do they call it? Life... Support. Life support, Science. thank you, uh, is operational. Um, there are some life signs, but it's really mm. hard to tell because your sensors are being played havoc with uh, by subspace interference in this region. Ooh. Subspace okay. interference, my old nemesis. <laughs> in fact, this region has a trait, subspace interference. 
That's probably why no one's out here. Mm. And for what My it's problem. worth, Davok, uh, you also know that from your inability to track these life forms, you know that beaming aboard would be impossible because it, basically you can't get a track on anything. Uh, you can't get a lock on anything due to the subspace interference. Okay. Right. Uh, that being the case, I think I should report this to the captain in a brief term and say that life support is operational on the ship, Captain. It seems to have been damaged. There are life signs on board. We don't believe we can tell we can uh, transport on board. Permission to take an away team and investigate further. I think that's a very good idea, Mr. Rahl. Um, Splendid. Who, who Davok? do you suggest taking? Davok, you're with me. Mr. Varon, I'd like you to come Hi, with sir. us too. And Hi, uh, sir. if the life support signs are not uh, are, are particularly are, are not clear, uh, Chief Medical Officer, please meet us in the shuttle bay. Oh, actually, you're right there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you can come too. <laughs> Hey, you there. literally Doc, in the shuttle you, bag. <laughs> Doc, you can get your just, bag. We're going. You can just throw the keys at him and just be like, yeah, yeah. You're driving. No, I wait. No, you're not. I'm driving. <laughs> and uh, as you all get right. so random, unnamed as yet NPCs, enter the bridge and take your stations. <clears throat> Actually, is there anybody in the chat that, that would like to name the first npc that takes the con oh good thinking yes who's 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 my who's my spare driver <laughs> oh, goodness this is good i this did have bad. one actually already prepared did you <gasps> yes i did who's taking over then well we are going to have grace wilson Hey. Oh, <laughs> She's science division, isn't she? <laughs> she is. She's very good at spatial anomalies. So oh, then she's perfect well. for sitting in. She's perfect for sitting in the in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant and uh, indeed. So I find you... that she's been that she's been like fiddling with my settings and playing tablet games. Oh, there'll be trouble when I get back. <laughs> <laughs> As She's you like. make your way off the bridge, uh, yes, Captain Liera is welcoming Grace uh, onto it. Wonderful. Um, You're going to get back and there's just going to be nothing but creeper heads everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's blown up. She's it's just, like, she it's, just sent Starfleet Commander 58 page yeah, message, exactly. which is just emojis. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, what has happened over there? <laughs> they're sending a team to they're sending a team to check on us now. <laughs> Brilliant. So um so in a moment, um Ed, I'm going to ask you which shuttle it is you are taking, but perhaps you might like to explain about yes. the Livingston's compliment. We said yes. Now <clears throat> we had a look at the uh, the Defiant class and we decided that there was enough space on board um for uh, four shuttle pods, which are small, uh, two-seater investigative uh, craft, and two shuttles. <clears throat> um, so we've got one Type 10 shuttle, which was specifically designed for the Defiant class. They're kind of sleek, Cut. pointy, look quite cool. And we've got one of the older Type Type 6 shuttle uh, shuttle pods. They can just hold a, a bit more... They can just seat more people. Um, so we thought that they, based on our... Um, uh, crisis and emergency response mission profile. It was best that the um, the uh, Livingston had at least one shuttle that was designed for it. That's uh, that, that's on board. That came with it. That came as spec from the shipyard. Um, and uh, thanks to our contacts, probably via Bosch, because he <laughs> knows people in various doc docks, various places. Um, we've managed to swap out our other Type Ten for a Type Six with more seats. Um, so I think we're going to be taking that one. So our, our Type uh, 6 shuttle is uh, Shuttlecraft 2, uh, Shuttlecraft Peak in this case, uh, named for a British astronaut, Tim Peak. Um, the other one, the Type 10 shuttle, is named Sharman for the other British astronaut, Helen Sharman, who was the first cosmonaut. Excellent. And uh, we have uh, four, four shuttle pods named Aaron, René, Anton, and Leonard. Just because. Mm. 
If we anybody... don't have any American shuttle names. <laughs> Sorry. Well, um, if L- anybody's pretty American. American. <laughs> those are all the names of Star Trek actors who have sadly passed away recently. That's uh, yeah, we've got a Nog, uh, Nog, Was Aaron Eckhart, yeah, and uh, Rene Aubergeon, mm-hmm. yeah, Anton Yelchin, of course. Who played, oh, yes, of course, um, uh, Chekhov in uh, the reboot, yeah, yes, mm. yes. Um, yeah, tough. so uh, you're taking you're taking peak, Shuttlecraft yes, Shuttlecraft 2, please, everyone, Shuttlecraft 2, yeah, okay. Now, the mm-hmm. first thing you're going to need to do, um is to set a navigation course. Uh, so this is going to be... No one's, no one's called Shotgun. I was hoping... <laughs> Varon, Lee, come on, Shotgun. I want you to be doing the tunes. <laughs> I'm only good if this, I swap course. We just get out there and he, the first thing he said, he's like, I will turn the shuttle around. Do not make yeah. me... <laughs> See, the, it, it sat in the, the shuttlecraft at Shotgun. You're right at the front. And uh, Ferengi rules of acquisition two eight eight. Never get into anything you can't get out of. Um, <laughs> there's, a, yeah, there's only one door at the back of these shuttlecraft, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Fascinating. So, um, first thing is to plot a course. Now, bear in mind that the Alcubierre is a drift, so it's got a spin to it. So, so this is going to be a difficulty one task um, and we need a reason and con roll who would you like to make it commander um let me see nice <laughs> oh it might be handy <laughs> we do have shuttles uh right so um reason and con oh that well uh, i could be pretty good with that i've got reason of nine and con of four so i'll be uh, 13s and under Okay, do you have any focuses that you would like to apply? I have focuses, not only in helm operations, but also in small craft. When uh, when I was a, a youngster out on the frontier of Klingon space, um, we used to pilot small craft around a nearby nebula. So this is, these are what I learned on. Fantastic. And uh, I'll roll for the shuttle. You get uh, one success for the shuttle itself. Okay. And I've got a, let's say, a six and an eight. So two successes, but uh, nothing focusable. So two successes from the dice. But you're maxed out on your momentum anyway. So Mm. you managed to uh, plot your course and you are absolutely confident that that you can navigate into the shuttle bay. Um, Worth noting, the shuttle bay door is open. It is open already. Yep, the force fields are up, but hmm. the shuttle bay is open. That's suspicious. Noted. So, uh, will it be yourself piloting? Uh, uh, yes, I'll be piloting this one, and, uh, and uh, as I'll have uh, Mr. Barron next to me, and um, the other two can take seats in the back uh, and strap themselves in, just in case the subspace is a bit rocky on the way over. Okay, uh, so... Having calculated the best course to the, the sorry, it's the docking port, uh, not the shuttle bay, uh, the docking port, adjusting for the attitude and rotation rate of the silent ship, uh, you use your calculations and you depart the shuttle bay for the science vessel. Now you need to get there, uh, so if you would like to give me a control and con roll with a difficulty of one. In fact, a I'll tell you what, um, because of the success of the previous ones, uh, you can use your previous successes to create an advantage on this roll. And, Which uh, lowers the difficulty by one, I think, is it? Is yeah, it? so it'll, it'll yeah. bring it down to a difficulty zero. So and as you're maxed out, um, there's no point making a roll. Oh, no, don't want to do it just in case there's a complication? I'll, that's up to you. Ah, well, okay. So if we max out on momentum, why, let's let's not make things complicated. Mm-hmm. There's the there's the there's the docking port. Let's just go straight for it. Um, That's uh, what rule of acquisition gonna... is that? <laughs> to max out on momentum, don't make things complicated. Two ninety, don't roll the dice. You don't have to. No, two ninety is an angry man is an enemy. A satisfied man is an ally. Uh, 
Oh, how could you? How could you? I, I defer. That? I defer to you, Mr. Bosch, on all rules of acquisition, but keep quoting them. They're useful. <laughs> okay, so you head out. For... And not at all annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wait. What I've got to say, wait. I just think Verit is just sitting there. Every time you recite one of those, he just tries to like oh, roll his oh, eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So you head out for the docking port, and as your shuttlecraft nears the disabled Alcubierre, uh, the main shuttle bay doors do in fact mysteriously open, and you adjust your heading away from the docking port and safely land. Uh, the doors close behind you, and the bay pressurizes. Apart from the two of the Alcubierre's own shuttles, the bay is empty, lit only by flickering emergency lights, and the bay feels eerily deserted. Oh. And we reach the end of scene one. <clears throat> Excellent. So you lose a momentum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> so quickly. Can add another one? It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Um, so... There you are. You are on board the Alcubierre in a shuttle bay. My, he's got all the backgrounds. <laughs> this is marvellous. Well, it's amazing um, what Google does. Well, the, the, the advantage of playing virtually is that while well, it's a shuttle bay, Google shuttle bay, quick, <laughs> into background, stop the click. <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, that is a Type 6 behind you, I believe. Uh, I think I think yeah yeah it so there was two, I that was just that was just fluke that there was two I think I think that's actually said that's enterprise that's uh, enterprise A's shuttle bay I think um, I think they were filming yeah, it about the same time as next gen so they just used the same the same <laughs> shuttles indeed uh, so would you like to exit shuttlecraft peak uh, yeah actually I think. Bear in mind, we don't know what's going on here. Everyone, ready phases, set for stun. Probably a good idea. Uh, unless anyone would like to say different, I'm going to assume you all do that. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. I think first first thing we probably do is um, <laughs> st carefully step out the back door of the shuttle and... I'm not saying now. I, I would think either Davok or Varun would have either. I'll maybe ask Varun for his tactical assessment of the situation. This seems since we, we've already established that there are life forms on board, but you know maybe see what Varun gets up for in his uh, if he's getting any if 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 his thousand yard stare is itching. <laughs> well, we do know that the the ship sustained fire from a source uh, that is not in the system currently. Uh, and their shuttle bay doors are open uh, as we come in. Uh, are we the only shuttle in the shuttle bay? No, there currently? are two more shuttles. Uh, Does anyone look like it's not from the ship? No, they both appear to okay. be. They're, they're consistent with, you're not familiar okay. with the names, but looking at the registry, of the two shuttles already would we there, expect there to be more than two would you like to spend a momentum to find that out mm. i'm going to say on behalf of the team yes okay yep yeah. okay two seems to be the right number for a minimal crew All right, okay so. If anyone's okay. left the ship, then I mentioned that. To... <laughs> yeah. But as far as life signs on board, the problem with that reading, it doesn't actually tell us if the life signs on board are the people that are supposed to be on this ship. The fact that they're not responding to hails and the fact that they have taken damage makes me a little jumpy. Uh, but we won't know more until we go inside. How do I refer to. Rawl. Uh, do I first officer? Is that how I would refer to you? Uh, to, or? I think I think to a commander it, it would do. That's just you know, that sort of rank commander. commander's job. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Sorry. As a as a tactician, 
though, Usher. Um, at the moment, all around you can only see emergency lighting, which you okay. know will make ranged any ranged um, attacks more difficult. You don't mm -hmm. really be able to shoot people at medium range. Okay. Um, I would note that to people. Just be like, before you start fire, if there is a need to fire, before you start firing randomly, make sure you can get a line up a good shot. It's going to be difficult with the, this lighting. Let's hope we don't have to do any of that. Yeah, okay. Perhaps at this point, based on that, ask Davok, can you get any sort of reading on your tricorder now that we're on board the ship? Is the subspace interference causing any problems here? Can we get? Can you get anything now we're actually on board and find life readings? And if we can, then let's start. I think see if we can get any life readings on your tricorder. Then maybe see if there's any computer systems in the docking bay where we can get some light going on and maybe uh, see what we can uh, see. What we can find out about the ship from here by hacking into its own system, perhaps. Yes, Commander. Assuming you're using your tricorder uh, there, Davok, um, yes. it is not operating correctly. The subspace interference appears to be limiting its range. Um, and indeed, from what you can determine, it seems to only work on people and objects uh, within an arm's length. So you have to be right next to anything you wish to scan. <laughs> Um, Bosch, if you want to try the same with your medical tricorder, you'd find the exact same thing. Right. You've got to be next to someone to scan them. Well, is there a station nearby I can go up and have a little diagnostic? Well, as you uh, take a glance around, in fact, you, you all uh, become aware of a beep, beep, beep of an active console uh, that seems to be, you recognise this particular beep as waiting for a command. Um, it's echoing throughout the shuttle bay. Um, it's not coming from shuttles one and two though. Uh, they're just uh, empty and dark. Um, and you can also see that the doors to the control room for the shuttle bay are stuck half open as if the ship's power gave out just as someone walked through them. Um, the light of the console inside the control room reflects in the window overlooking the bay, but there is no one inside. Whoever opened the shuttle bay's outer doors to let you in is not here. Hmm. We maybe have an ally on board. Hmm. Something's, got, something's gone wrong and someone wanted those doors to be open for us. Are you wanting to go to the uh, control room to have a look at this console that's beeping? Uh, do we have we come out of the shuttle yet? You are I outside think, yes. the shuttle, yes. No. Yeah. We're, we're okay. Shuttle. Yeah, have a look. Okay. Uh, you go over to the console. Uh, the auxiliary controls are locked out, and are rerouted to main engineering. Uh, the person hmm. who operated the shuttle bay did so remotely. They did not do it from here. Do I see their name? Mm. If you want to know who did it, um, you can spend momentum to ask a question. Uh, I will leave this up to the commander, but I wondered if it would be helpful to find out whether or not they're who they are. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, if our momentum's at five, I think, at the moment. Uh, the bigger... At four. At four. Uh, okay, let's, um, let's spend one of those and find out who it is who, uh, who did that. Oh, well, we know where they are. They're in engineering. Mm. So that might be worth something as well. Okay. Um, the console doesn't say who specifically opened the doors but it did show that someone bypassed the lockouts to operate the bay doors from the bridge. Oh. Now, as you're okay. studying this console, the power to it sputters and the display dims down. 
Yeah. Just before it goes completely dark, however, you see the following message. Meet me in stellar cartography. And it goes blank. Oh. Hmm. Captain, I think we have an admirer. Or not ca commander. <laughs> I think we, uh, I think we have... Um, I think we have uh, a most perplexing mystery, but I think we should be heading for stellar cartography. I tell uh, right. the, the door is uh, the door is partly open. Can we get through it? That's just the door to the control room. The main door to leave the shuttle bay um, is closed at the moment. You do know, however, that these doors, even if the power's down, can be operated by a like hand actuator. Right. Yeah, we can we can get through those. Uh, okay. Uh, let's <laughs> let's not split up. Let's <laughs> let's head together. Especially creeping through a starship that we don't necessarily know, and it's still adrift in space. Um, but let's head towards stellar cartography. Uh, Mr. Varon, if you could take point, and we'll follow along behind. Okay. Understood. Um, Bosch, if you've got, uh, if your scout, if your medical tricorder can be set for uh, proximity as well, um, if you can get anything, just to help Varon with uh, with finding out if anyone's around. Stick close. Davok, you too, okay? Yes, sir. And we make our way, hopefully via the door, and head towards stellar cartography, which I guess we would know where that was, or there'd be signage. There'd be signage on the ship. <laughs> you are here. You are here. I want a you are here map. <laughs> there'd be some it's like go I, I It's like going to the mall. <laughs> I, I don't think it's unreasonable that on the en route here... Um, you would have at least looked up the rough, uh, a rough map of the ship to have an idea where it is. Okay, <coughs> so uh, you approach the door, uh, you open mm -hmm. the panel for the hand actuator. Uh, who's actually going to activate it out of interest? I'll activate it. Okay, uh, you grab hold. It's, so a hand actuator is basically like a big handle that you you yank down and it's like a big solid thing um you grab hold of it and you yank it down and because i'm really really mean i'm going to spend two threat <laughs> to create a complication the hand actuator okay. breaks off oh. and that's where we're going to take a quick break <laughs> yeah. guys i'm not having a lot of <laughs> a lot of success with things I can break off today. I've broken my headphone jack. I've broken this fucking door. I'm really sorry. Maybe maybe I just shouldn't touch it anything. <laughs> okay, we'll have a quick five minute break and then we'll uh, right. reconvene. Fantastic. All righty. Because. I just like I don't pay attention to my roles and like I damn near TPK to group once just because I was just ready. I was like whatever they're fine okay. they're gonna be we're, fine we're live again okay. awesome there we are so you were just saying uh, Usher that uh, you want a bit of product placement and you've got a favorite beer is that right no I do not have a favorite beer but uh, <laughs> I am currently drinking PBR. However, uh, if there is any so. representative from Duvel watching, more than happy for you to send us samples of Duvel. Uh, big, yeah, big fan. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Big fan. Absolutely. Do uh, sponsor us. Probably, if I was going <laughs> to do anything. How awesome would that be? I'll see it. Sponsored to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can get one of my buddy that runs a local brewery. I'll see if he'll sponsor our Star Trek adventure stream. Oh, <laughs> yes, I don't know how we're going to, I don't know how I'm going to, I don't think he sells to the UK, but <laughs> I'll have to ship y'all some booze. <laughs> well, well, as, long, as long as we put some sort of like thing up in the commercial breaks and at the start and at the end, sponsored it'll, by. Yeah. Done. It'll, yeah. it'll, it'll be like the Super Bowl where it'll be like, all right, and now it's time to use the, the Devel dice that we're using, or like shoots up or whatever, today are sent by our very, very good friends Devel. <laughs> <laughs> one roll, one crit, or your money back. <laughs> exactly. Fantastic. It just so, shows up at the bottom, and it, and it goes to like Duvel Cam. 
Oh, I've been asked to turn my mic up a little bit, uh, so I will turn it up there. Uh, how is that, cat? Is that better for you? Um, just to be fair, guy, you, I'm on a different mic to the listeners than to you, so uh, hopefully, cat, you've uh, you can hear me a bit better now. If if not, just say, <coughs> and I'll turn it up a bit more. Oh, better, fantastic. Okay, uh, so before our ad break then, uh, you had just tried to leave the shuttle bay um, and Lieutenant Commander Lee Varen yanked on the manual actuator and broke it off. Um, um, <laughs> Bosch is just going to lean slightly into uh, to, uh, rule number 280. If it ain't broke... Don't fix it. <laughs> Is there a rule about when you've broken it yourself? You have to pay for it. Is it broken merchandise you have to pay for? Um, <laughs> I, I think there is, but I can't remember exactly which one. <laughs> so, <laughs> There's so got to be a broken, broken, you bought it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is we're post money, so it's not that big a deal. I'll just, I'll just say it's mine. Uh. Um, as Federation as systems, this, this is all ours, technically. Yeah. As <laughs> I break like it off Latin, my hand, I'm going to look at the piece commodity. that I... Look, looking at the piece that I broke off, is there a way to... Is there a way to kind of jerry-rig it and run it over, or can I just throw it over my shoulder? <laughs> just into the middle of the can. shuttle bay. <laughs> well, where the handle... It's broken. So basically, it's broken a, a quite a large stem with it. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not useful as an actuator now. However, would it be useful to pry the door open? That would be an option to try and get the door open. Okay. And I'm going to mention to the commander. It seems they've given me a handy tool to pry the door open. Excellent, Mr. Varon. Just um, open the door. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Oh, thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to get the merit for this. I'll allow you to be uh, creative. I'll look the other way. All right, good. This is still Federation property. I don't want to get in trouble here. Uh, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to use the piece that I have broken off to pry open the door, if possible. Okay. Um... You can just about wedge this thing into the seal. Um, you do know that uh, these doors are magnetically sealed and are particularly strong. Probably stronger than most of the doors around the rest of the ship because, they, they, well, it has to be sealed in case of a breach yeah, the in lock. the shuttle bay. Um, yeah, it is basically an airlock. Um, absolutely mm -hmm. right. Uh, so this is going to be a fitness and security task for you. Okay. Difficulty Which means... three. Oh, it, wow. It well, means you add your fitness score and your security score, and then... Which you, would be 17. Uh, and you roll under that, and you need to get okay. three successes. Okay. Uh, can, question. Can, I, can I assist him if I'm stood next to him? Uh, you... He wants a hand? The difficulty here is where he's using the manual actuator, it's not big enough for you to get your hands in on it as well. Uh, and and the door's too tight for you to get your fingers in to try so, and... So, question. I know that this is not what it means, but it seems oddly funny that one of my focuses is infiltration, and I am infiltrating this door. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that that's actually what it means, no. but all right. No, nice try. Yeah, it's right. so, supposed to be a little bit sneakier than actually breaking <laughs> breaking the door down. Uh, is, any, is there anything Davok can do to try and lessen the magnets while uh, we're trying to open the door? Uh, you do a quick scan with the tricorder to see if it can run any interference. Unfortunately, not in this case. Um I will say though, Usha, you can um, spend momentum to buy extra mm. dice. Uh, I will buy if that's okay with everybody. I feel like needing three successes, we should buy an extra dice. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. At least get one. Okay. 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 So, so uh... I will. 
but I rolled a seven and a nine, which are both underneath. Uh, so do I now have to roll a third dice? You do. You're one success away. Is that right? Okay. Uh, there, Ed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. And I think as it as it works, if I'm if I'm right, you can. So you could do that, and then you could say, well, "I'll buy I'll buy another dice with momentum to add in to the pool before rolling it." I, th I think, but it's it's G GM's GM's choice as, as to whether you can go. Oh, do we spend momentum to add it? I think that's that's more case if we needed to add more dice to get more successes and build more momentum. But roll it, roll it, roll the dice. That's okay. It. Uh, that's 11. So my fitness is 12. My security is five. So getting a 17 is pretty easy. Three that is, successes. Uh... Um, and yes, it takes you. I mean, it is really, really tough. It, it's still mm -hmm. pushing you to your, not quite to your limits, but um, you grunt and you sweat and you heave. And you do manage to get the doors open wide enough for everyone to slip through. Um, As it opens, I'm going to throw that piece into the back of the hallway and be like, doors open, Commander. Thank you. As buddy. I'm like sweating bullets. <laughs> okay. Um, I will point out, um, in order to do this, you had to put your phaser away. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Commander Ral did give issue uh, an order previously to arm yourself. Do you want to rearm yourself? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, just wanted to check on that. So beyond the doorway, uh, you've got a corridor. Uh, scorch marks are covering the corridor walls. Damaged power couplings are sparking beneath broken, burnt-out panels. And on the deck are the dead bodies of seven Starfleet crew members. How does it look like they died? Get Bosch to well, chat. actually, <laughs> good news. Good news, we have Bosch. Yeah. So, Bosch. Uh, yeah. So, to determine what killed them, it is a difficulty zero task. It is up to you if you wish to make a roll and regain some of your lost momentum. Right, let's, let's get some momentum back if we can, I think. Yeah. It is insight plus medicine. Uh, my insight is... 10 my medicine is five um i also have i've got focuses on emergency medicine triage and trauma surgery if that helps jesus uh i think i don't be believe any of those will apply here okay considering they're already dead <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that is actually exactly <laughs> what i no i was thinking uh, th that is a bit more thought out but yeah um it doesn't yeah apply no I, I i i got two successes Fantastic. So you get two nice. of your momentum back. Uh, oh, that's good. Because we had to use it to open a fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. These dead people will help us with the momentum. <laughs> yeah. So um, they are indeed dead. You've you've confirmed that. They're dead, um, Jim. Like, you I know mean... you want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> they all have wounds on them. Um that are consistent with disruptor fire. Mm, actually, now, can uh, Davos, can you, can you your... determine what type of disruptor fire? Is it a specific race, a specific species disruptor that we can determine from that? Or is disruptor just disruptor? You can spend a momentum to find out if you like. What do we think? Do we find out or try and find out who it is we may be going up against here if Davok can figure out what uh, what type of disruptors we're, 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 uh, our I, I dear think colleagues have departed to. Considering what we talked about during the break, I think it would be important if we can narrow that down, we might be able to tell our ship to look out for something cloaked if we do yeah. find out it is uh, something. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll, then, spend a, we'll spend a momentum to find out or to uh, what this... Um, what this just where this disruptor has come from what what type of disruptor has been used that's um, yeah. that's what i'm here for is to think of worst case scenario <laughs> are you being your chief of security exactly all right I have so, a hard time with doors but <laughs> so davok uh you scan um the wounds and uh compare the results with the information in bosch's tricorder and you narrow it down to the disruptors used by Romulans. Romulans, Ooh. Commander. Ooh. 
Romulan disruptors. It's not expecting that. Um, no. Okay, in that case, I got my communicator. Here it is. Yeah, and uh, try to communicate to Livingston to pass our current report, uh, advising Captain Liera that we are on board safely, uh, heading towards stellar cartography. We found some dead Starfleet crew members on board, and we believe that Romulan disruptor fire as, uh, is the cause of the problems on board the ship. But you get as far as tapping your comm badge, <laughs> and you get an error message, an error beep. Uh, page it just says for battery low. <laughs> yeah. um, battery low. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the subspace interference appears to be affecting communications. You cannot contact God. the ship. So we'll have to this investigate is, this ourselves. This place is a real hellhole. Um, and yeah, this is where okay. we come to the end of that scene. Ooh, you lose wow. a lose momentum. momentum. Um. Which are we it's on really... two at the moment, Stu, for momentum? Sorry, you are down are to we on... two. Two, okay. Uh, should we search the bodies of Starfleet personnel? Uh, I know that they're just in Starfleet uniform, but... No pockets. Finding out... Hmm. No pocket, yeah. <laughs> no pockets, yeah, no, no bag of holding. <laughs> no good swords we can yeah. pinch. <laughs> well, it's less about swords and more about what happened here. Uh, did... Are they all in the same area? Does it look like they were just like executed? Or do they look like, are they spread about in the sense that they were trying to run away? You can spend a momentum to no, try and determine um, what went on. I can tell you, they're not all clumped together, if that's what you mean. They're not in a pile. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, okay. it wasn't like a last stand on it. On, it wasn't a last stand yeah. on the corridor or anything. They're, they're just dead. That's a that's okay. a different that's a different question. That I can answer if you want to spend <laughs> a momentum. No, I don't think it's worth it. I will find out what is going on with Romulans when we find out what's going on with Romulans. It's worse mm -hmm. than that. He's dead, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, then I guess I will continue moving forward uh, to stellar cartography. <laughs> I'll I'll go first with phaser up. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be behind you. <laughs> Stay in front of me. Meat shield. Operation, <laughs> Operation Meat Shield. Absolutely. Is what, this is what that was. <laughs> what, you had to come up with like tactical situations <laughs> in Starfleet uh, Academy. They were just like, this This one's called Operation Meat Shield. <laughs> is that where everyone's going then? Uh, yes, I'm. Uh, we're keeping all. We're sticking together. I don't want anyone splitting yeah. up, especially on. Especially now we know who could be on board. Okay, so the plan is for you all to go to stellar cartography. So the corridors themselves are dimly lit from the glow of the red emergency lighting. Ahead, you find three more dead Starfleet officers. Um, Jesus. One of whom you recognise uh, Bosch from looking up the personnel files uh, as Captain Kelly himself. Uh, the next to Captain him Kelly. Is his first officer, um, and there also appears to be a chief of security. Hmm. Uh, I'll uh, I'll I'll point out uh, everyone that these are the three <coughs> three key bridge crew. Um, this is a little concerning. Okay. So there's very few, there's so if there is any uh, Starfleet personnel on board, there's not many of the senior command staff left around. No. Are the disruptor burns on their frontal backs? That's a good question. Mm. Okay. You you bend down to have a look. And just as you're doing so... An alien pops out of his chest. disruptor and... scorch on the wall to the side of you. You all look up and you see four Romulans at the end of the corridor. Ah! We're into combat. Found the Romulans, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Take over. Dun, dun, Everyone dun, down. Dun, 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 dun. 
Okay, uh, so currently the Romulans are at long range from you. Oh. Okay. Um, and as they have just fired, uh, one of you is going to get to go first. Now, uh, Usher, what's your security figure? Five. Five, max. Okay, Ed, what's your security? Uh, I'm security three. I also have the quick to action talent, as well as the fire at will talent. And hunker down. Okay. Poor Will. Shut up, Wesley. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Amy, what is your security score? Please? It's two. Two. And Matt? Three. Three for Matt. Okay. Um, I will put Ed as acting before you just because he's he ranks higher. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how I feel like. Um, That's a load of bullshit. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, you yes. are up. They are currently at long range from you. However, you have your phaser in your hand. It is set to okay. stun. You can do a minor awesome. action and a major action. Uh, minor action and a major action. Minor action, would that be like moving closer to them? That would definitely be a minor action then I want to do that. I want to close my distance to them. Okay. Do you uh, want to move to medium range, or do you want to move right up next to I them? would love to move... I would love to move to medium range to start out with, and then I believe fire at will allows me to fire at two targets, if I'm not mistaken. I I'll have to look it up. I... I'll take your word for it. I I would have to look up the actual. It, it's hard for me to find the actual like like a sheet that lists what those do. Um, but uh, I, I know you all have the books. I just couldn't. Was that actually in your? Is that um, like a talent rather than a focus? It is a talent. A talent it's called yeah. fire at fire at will. Yeah, so it's like it's like, it's a, it's an actual mechanical benefit to the game. So like it's like a yes. reroll or an extra dice or something like that. Yeah, so I, I, I'm I trying to look it up. Something like it, you you can fire at two targets, but it makes it more. It increases the difficulty, probably knowing knowing the mechanics of this one. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find it online. I no one, I've never been, haven't found that yet. Uh, let me see. Medical talents, security talents. Uh, no. Science. Sorry, I'm I'm just trying to find it quickly. I want to. Whatever. Anyways, yeah, uh, we'll have to look it up after. But okay. if my minor action would be to move to medium range, mm -hmm. then my major action would be to fire at two of the targets. Okay. Um, so... Uh, da, 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 da. There, as I say, there are four Romulans ahead of you. There mm -hmm. are three Ulans, um, mm -hmm. and one appears to be a Centurion. Sort of taking a quick glance at their their uniforms, you all notice this. Uh, the Centurion uh, appears to be behind the other three. Okay, uh, looks like I just found a Google Sheets with all of the talents on them. Hmm. Cool. And I will, uh, I will link that in our Discord. Uh, Excellent. Thank you for that. Very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways. So we're going to need to do some combat, aren't we? Fire at will. The cape character is capable of tracking multiple targets and making attacks against them with great effect. Whenever the character makes a range and then uses... Oh, hang on. It's a little bit different. Uh, when the character uh, makes a ranged attack and then uses swift task momentum spin to make a second ranged attack, they ignore difficulty increase for the swift task. Never mind. It may not work how I thought it does. Okay. So yeah. I will fire one phaser at a Romulan. Okay. Um, at which 
of the Romulans are you going to fire at? The one Ooh. in front, so looking in front of you, the one on the far left mm -hmm. is female. You've got one in the middle, one on the right. They're both male and the male centurion at the back. What is a centurion? It, it's kind of, it just ranks a bit higher. Yeah, it's like a squad leader. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're going to fire at him then. Okay, uh, he is technically in cover because he's behind. Oh well, his... let's then let's go for the greatest effect. Let's just go for the first person that is right up front, the meat shield. They have one too. Guy in the middle. Okay, <laughs> that would be the guy in the middle. Absolutely. Uh, let's do it. So, uh, this is going to be a control and security task with a difficulty of two. Okay, control and security um, would put me at, uh, oh, goodness, uh, that'd be 13 is what I need to roll. Have you got any focuses in hand phases or weaponry or ranged? Uh, I, no, because I didn't make this character correctly. Um, <laughs> but No, you did. <laughs> you did. just didn't focus I, on that. <laughs> I, well, we just didn't know what any of these things did. <laughs> or how the game played so uh no but i will go ahead um that's a nine and an eight okay two successes you've hit him two, su two successes um, hit. so uh we're going to do damage uh now phases i need to remind myself how many points of damage Phasers do. Phaser type two does an eight, is what it looks like on my sheet. Yeah, basically, what it, what it, it's um, it's three challenge dice plus your security score. So for you, yeah, it's going to be you roll eight dice, and then we okay. see whether you get how many how many um, how many hits or how many success how many you score off off that. Okay, so I roll eight dice, and it's just my what is it security? No, if you roll. No. Um, Roll 8d6s. Okay. And we're looking for 1s and 2s, 5s and 6s. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hang on. Forgot that we had a... I want a dice roller. Um, here. I'm pulling it up. Uh, oh, so that's a two, a six, that's good. a five, a three, so that was four, uh, two, four, three, two. Okay, I'm calculating eight. Eight hits, yeah. Eight hits. Um, he does not have any resistance. So with wow. all eight hits, uh, because that is more than five uh, in one attack, he is stunned <laughs> and falls to the floor. Shot. Yeah, right on. Nice. Nice. Uh, we are now uh, oh you also get uh because you had two successes that gives you a thing doesn't it um i know it was difficulty two Stu. so it was uh it, it was that was what we needed to my bad yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay so no momentum or anything right Oh damn! Uh, he okay. is Swiss cheese. You're absolutely right, cat. Except it was on stun. <laughs> okay. I may have accidentally, accidentally <laughs> merged it to to kill. No, <laughs> uh, I listen. I listen to my commanding officer. We are round to the centurion, uh, who is going to move a little bit so that he's taking cover behind uh <coughs> yeah dude. one of the other this kind of rooms. sucks guys completely forgot about cover <laughs> <laughs> we are in a corridor there's not a great deal of cover apart from other people 
yeah. the centurion is be about to do. That's fair. Uh, he is going to. So this is daring and security. So that's difficult. Twelve. Um, so he's going to try and shoot you, Usher, with his disruptor. Oh. Uh, and he gets two successes. Awesome. Uh, it's going to hurt. He gets 7d6. Uh, I need more dice. Do you... So he gets uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can add phaser abilities to your next character. Yes. Thank you. Uh, seven. He. Um, you take seven points off your stress, please, Usher. Uh, that's how that works. Got it. Seven points. And because it is more than five, uh, you take an injury. Awesome. You have a minor injury, so um, he's basically shot you in your abdomen. Uh, which is now on fire. I mean, not literally on fire, but <laughs> it's uh, it, you're in a lot of well, pain. Well, let's be honest. Everybody digs abdomen scars. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have two momentum. We can spend that immediately, and we can avoid that injury. You can. That's up to. That is but, up yeah, to I, you I guys. Think we should do I that have a feeling. Taking taking an injury means that you're basically you can no longer act. Until we got like Bosch over to patch you up. Um, oh, wow, uh, that's he, gonna. He can act with a minor injury, which this is. It's only when it becomes a major injury. I'm happy to take one for the team right now, guys, and have I'll... a minor injury. Oh, okay. It's I'll up patch to you. you up. It's fine. If you want to okay, let's see if, if you're if you're happy that you can you can still operate with a minor injury with your uh, would... rest on there. Yeah, I would rather save some. Uh... Save the momentum that we have currently, and not use it on something we, can, we don't. Because we can use momentum to. to add like extra damage to make sure each shot, each shot we get on these guys stuns and takes down another Romulan. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Okay, that's what we'll do then. Okay, you keep your momentum for now. I have one of those really cool jackets that they had, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, we talked about this. It didn't. It's not a. It's not a phaser proof vest. <laughs> oh, I know, but it looks cool. <laughs> it does. Uh, Commander Raul, what are you going to do? All right. Uh, mm -mm. Your red shirt's been hit. I know. I, I know. It is. You have one along, although it's a gold shirt. But, it's a gold know, shirt it, in this. Yeah. I did think about that when I wore this today. I was like, Fuck, they're going to make fun of me. I'm going to die. <laughs> you know it. Uh, right. Okay. I'll go for. Um, I'll go for actually a minor action. Seeing him take a hit and go down. I'm going to take a minor action to drop prone, which actually makes me harder to hit from uh, the Romulans. Yes, it does. Um, um, as a minor action. you are and at with... long range. Oh, okay. And based on that, I will... Um, having dropped prone, I will take a shot at... Uh, let's try the Romulan Ulan to the right. Okay. As the... As the uh, the one in front of the Centurion. Yeah, um, as so the Centurion's already... Difficulty three. Okay, uh, can I buy a dice with one momentum then to add? You absolutely yeah. can. To the pool. Good and work. I've got uh, control versus security, so 13 I need, but I've got no, um, no, addition, no applicable focuses. Uh, so, three dice we need. Ooh, and uh, I've got uh, a two and an nice. eight and a seventeen. Oh, mm. the seventeen! Two successes. You're just short. It's difficulty three because of your range. Uh, doesn't two no. count as one? Uh, two. No, uh, it, not it, it would do. No it would do if I had a focus in phases, which I don't. Ah, uh, okay. Or something related. Mm. Yeah, um, but. You have dived to the deck to make you harder to hit. <laughs> oh, very dramatic. Um, absolutely. Uh, leaving poor Lee Varen um, still being a target. That's Lee Varen's job. 
<laughs> so, so my job is to get shot at and to shoot other people. <laughs> and we are indeed round two. Uh, the next Ulan, the female Ulan this time, who is also going to take a shot at you, Lee. Okay. Oh, sneaky Romulan trick. <laughs> the guy's already down. Well, he's been hit once, but he's still up. Oh, and uh, lucky bunny that you are. Um, just misses scorching the wall by your head. Um, Matt, we are round to you. Do the Matrix maneuver. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, Bosch is going to uh, s- slide down next to Lee and uh, try and patch him up a little bit, hyperspray in the... Uh, in the shoulder okay. type thing. Treat. Um, You're treating his wound. Um, yeah. And I got a focus in triage. I like uh, the fact that I got shot in the chi- I got shot in the abdomen and you're treating my shoulder. <laughs> kind of, what kind of doctor are you? <laughs> you only just... ever hyperspray the shoulder or the neck. That's it. That you never hyperspray anything else. It's always shoulder or neck. Uh, triage wouldn't apply I'm afraid because triage is when you've got multiple patients it's determining who you should treat first mm-hmm. how about emergency medicine then <laughs> yeah I think I would apply to a first I aid test I think mer- emergency definitely applies to this uh, I'm trying to find emergency just think so uh... I've also got a talent in field medicine um, but that's that looks like it gets quite complicated. Um, okay. Oh no! When attempting the medicine task while in the midst of combat, you can ignore the first complication that would increase the difficulty. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to say this is a difficulty two because you are in a combat situation. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm trying to work out what you would be rolling. This is going to be uh, daring and medicine I think I, is, by the um, way I, I did whether it's link the talent daring. list that really doesn't matter I've got nine for both okay <laughs> that, that, that medicine difficulty level two uh, no no they're both failures <laughs> Okay, you're you're trying to. Um, I mean, let's face massaging it. Massaging his shoulders again. <laughs> Ferengi, not the bravest uh, <laughs> no. species. About. I mean, he's being <laughs> shot at. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm missing a hypothetical, but I am ducked behind him. I am using him as cover while <laughs> pretend like <laughs> while uh, oh patching him up. <laughs> Whilst trying to select the hyperspray stressing you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just back there, like, what the hell are you doing right now? No speed <laughs> setting, no space sickness <laughs> setting, no. Anytime you want, Bosh. <laughs> when it's convenient. Okay, we are round to the uh, Ulan in front of the Centurion, mm. who is also going to try and fire at Lee. Uh, this is. Yeah. Uh, um, no, almost gets a complication, but not quite. Um, no, you're. I mean, you're obviously used to being shot at there, Lee, because <laughs> you're ducking and diving and managing to yep. avoid the disruptor fire. We are round to Davok. God, that is quite lucky. <laughs> You're at long range uh, so far. You've got uh, your commander lying on the floor next to you. Uh, Get down, you've got, Doc. <laughs> you've got... Uh, do, you know, do you know what Lee's, Lee needs help? No? <laughs> <laughs> Lee and Bosch are up the corridor ahead of you. Oh, I, I think that Davok would rush to Lee's assistance and try and cover where the doctor failed. Oh, you're going to try and heal Lee yourself. Yes, so I believe that I can try first. They'll have weapons. And <laughs> I have, I'm 
I'm not very good at shooting, so... Um, <laughs> it's okay. I'm so I believe I can take a major action of first aid, and I have a focus in emergency medicine. Fantastic. Um, Lovely. This, again, is going to be a difficulty level two. Uh, this... Yeah, it's going to be. I'm. I'm going to say daring and medicine because under fire. Okay, so daring and medicine is twelve. Uh, medicine is three, and I rolled a two and a four. Oh, three that successes! Three successes. three successes. You get a momentum. Um, and wonderful. Uh, yeah, you are no longer injured. Uh, Understood. I don't think you get any stress back. <laughs> or away. Think, stress stress stays burnt through until the end of the scene, I think. Yeah, that's that's my understanding of it. Uh, but you are no longer injured. Do characters in this game, like, level? <sighs> or not, really? Um, short, no. Long, yes. Got it. Sort Got of. It. No worries. No worries. We'll talk about it later. Not yeah. on stream. We'll talk about it once I've looked it up. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. See, I, we are... There's got to be a rule of acquisition for that somewhere. There is. We are back around to the Centurion. Who... Actually, rule of acquisition number 20. He who dies under the table today lives to profit tomorrow. <laughs> it's, it's not I would if you're saying that to me I'm going to be like it's not very helpful yeah, right the now the last thing you want your doctor to be saying to you right? it's just like like how bad is it Jesus <laughs> fantastic um, yes uh, so the I think that's, that's everyone, they, they've all actioned and we've all actioned so I think that's um Next, is going next. to uh, throw himself into a Jeffrey's tube off to the side. Oh. Into a say again? Jeffrey's tube. Dive into a Jeffrey's tube a la Star Wars. Oh, okay. I don't know what a Jeffrey's tube is. I, uh, it's the mechanic hatches. There's kind of the, the you've got the corridors, and then basically all the rest of the ship is this warren of. Um, Cat oh, gotcha. and, yeah. yeah, gotcha. Okay, totally so, understand. Crawl space, very stark. Crawl space, yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah. that would be the American word for it. That's yeah. That's why I used <laughs> it. Um, Lee, so, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you've if had, one the, of you've them had a CMO been... rush up next to you and completely failed to heal you, and a Vulcan has just run up next to you and healed you without any bother. No, I know. We're going to have As a talk Paul about says, that once. CMO is sacked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're switch have... departments immediately. We're going to have a discussion about this later. <laughs> um, but uh, I believe um, there's only two that are still standing there. Uh, wow. I'm going to get even closer. And I don't, I don't know if that makes any difference when firing a phaser if you are at close range, does it? Makes it more difficult. Makes it more difficult. Got it. It makes hand to hand um, easier. Yeah, I didn't take any of those focuses either, so <laughs> I really did not think about this character very well. Um, I just well, I melee, assume... melee when you do a melee strike, it's only it's like what it's difficulty one. You stood like that close, you just hit them. Whereas phasering is always like difficulty two because you actually got to draw a bead on them. Yeah, no, I do think I'm just going to run up and uh, beat the crap out of them. C so... Just, just and no, I right, so I right, open hand like palm punch. <laughs> I'm just, there there I are just... a number of options available to you with your minor action. Um, Okay. You, you can drop prone, um, like like Ed has, which will make you more difficult to hit. Not worried about that. You can <laughs> use your minor action to take aim, which reduces the difficulty in hitting mm -hmm. them with the phaser. Oh, okay. Good to know. Um, or you can just run up and... 
Uh, uh, Helene. To, I, now, I, I'm I will, pretty sure I, I'm just going to run up like... I will say, oh, you will know ahead. that... I, I'm, I don't want to discourage you, but I want you to go into this with the full information. You would know yes. that Romulans do carry knives. <laughs> a standard well, that's... procedure. Well, that's fair. Uh, I didn't really get an outfitter. Uh, when I did this, uh, but going into the situation, I will make sure to have a just Starfleet knife on me next time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't think that would change this decision. I appreciate you telling me that though, but I feel like the character, or at least, yeah, it's getting shot in a hallway. They just killed like 11 Starfleet personnel. Uh, so including the captain and all this other stuff. Yeah, he's going to run up and punch the first guy. Okay. Well, you have uh, a female Ulan to your left and a male Ulan to your right. Uh, I guess we're just going to punch the girl. Okay. Uh, <laughs> equal opportunities. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Romulans don't, uh, don't, dis don't uh, discriminate. I saw Picard. They beat people's ass. So. <laughs> <laughs> Romulans are me, or at least in that show. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we're gonna go up and hit one. Okay, uh, now because you're you're changing weapons effectively uh, now for your mm -hmm. fist, um, are you? I mean, can I hit her? Can I hit her with the phaser in my hand? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. All right, then I'm not I'm changing going to weapons. Say yes. I'm just um, repurposing said weapon. <laughs> Um, yeah, you, you've got a handle. You can sort of smack yeah. with it. Are you attempting this to be a lethal or non-lethal attack? At this point, completely lethal. Okay. I'm in no position to stop you. I'm not going to. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if you're making, I wasn't. I wasn't asking attack, permission at this point. Uh, uh, no way. I'm getting in the way of your red mist. <laughs> uh, if you're yeah. making a lethal attack, that's fine. It means I get another one of these. Threat token. Oh, what is it? Okay, things I so can, you can use, use to make things get... complicated for you. Well, you've already fucked over doors for me. <laughs> I can't imagine what's going to be worse. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Get, give yourself a threat token then. Enjoy that. Give me. I will. Um, <laughs> give me a daring and security task uh, with difficulty uh, one. Well, Do you that's have any a focus? sixteen. Uh, not currently. No, uh, okay. Most of his most of his background is espionage, infiltration, that sort of deal. It's not hand to hand, right up the top. I mean, I think he can do that stuff, and his daring, fitness, and security are all very high, which makes him capable of that. Cool. Um, I have to beat a sixteen for right. these two, so that's a fourteen and an eleven. You so two successes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. There we go, guys. Uh, now your damage for this. Okay, I have a better dice roller up now. Is going to be. Um... Actually, the way we built it, um, Usher, on your character sheet should show. Oh, it might say unarmed strikes. I don't know if she wants to add add any um, effects to that. Um, uh, well, it's a to six add an effect, for you have to use uh, your minor action to activate okay. the effect. Got In which case, I can't do that because I had to run up there. Yeah. Um, if I do kill this girl, I'm taking her knife. Um, <laughs> uh, just as a keepsake. Loot. <laughs> two dice plus your security, I believe. Yeah. yeah uh, five, so... Seven? Five D6. Five D six. Okay. Five D six. And rolling. I got a five, a four, a one, a four, and a three. A five, a four, a one, a four. And a three. And a three. Well, that's uh it's called two plus an effect, I think. Uh again the effect um only comes into play if you've used your you've done some, your, yeah your mind. That's record. better with phases and things like that, isn't it? You can trigger nice nice things to happen. Um, but yes, uh, she has two points of stress against her. Um, she's down to nine from 11. All right. Uh, you didn't knock her down. <laughs> I did not knock her down. Um, I mean, next time, because you're going to be up next to her, you can 
attempt to knock her down with a punch. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah. That would use your minor action to sort of prepare for that. That's where the effects yep. come into play there uh, with that. But we are round to her. That's, that's kind of yes, what I figured. She's going to uh, use her minor action to draw her knife. Oh, she's got a knife! <laughs> that's not a knife. I know! <laughs> not a knife! I know! <laughs> Uh, I've just, I, I really hope that she's as bad with a knife as she is with a phaser, with yes, disruptor. She is going to attack you with it. So, what do we say? This is for melee, <coughs> daring, and security. Uh, and she is eight ten for daring and security. Oh, you're a lucky, lucky man. Um, no, so she, she tries she, to, uh, but you just managed to block the knife with your arm yep. on her arm. Uh, we are round two. Ed. Right. Uh, as I'm prone, I'm going to do a minor action of taking aim <laughs> on the other Ulan, the, uh, the male in the corridor. Okay. Uh, the, the male Ulan, yes? Yeah. Okay, this will bring it back down to a difficulty two. So, okay, I'm going to spend one momentum and add an extra dice just to make sure and hopefully maybe gain some momentum back with it. Fantastic. Uh, so I need uh, control and security. So oh, hang 18... on. Sorry, you're, you're still long range, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that would make it prone and long range would make it difficulty four. Taking aim brings it back down to difficulty th three, then. So it is difficulty three, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, control and security is 13. Meeting. And we've got a two, a 10, and a 10. Whap. That's what I'm talking <laughs> oh, about. Nice. Eat and, phaser. <laughs> and did you have any focuses? I don't have any focuses on, uh, on that, no. Okay. Um, but... You do manage to hit. Uh, roll those damage dice. That dice at uh, six. I'm doing for that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. And I've got. I've scored a six, a six, a one, a one, a four, and a four. So I've scored four and two effects. Now, phaser type two has the charge. Oh which is prep action gives an additional effect, but we've not prepped it to anything specific. So no, you used your minor count. action for aim. Yeah, I thought aiming was more important than fiddling with the settings on it. Yes. Um, so, um, yeah, four damage. You should, okay. you should tell that to Bosch next time he's using his little... <laughs> <laughs> um, options with the phaser, by the way, uh, to, you can prepare using your minor action are area effects, so that's useful against mm -hmm. multiple targets. Um, probably should have said this earlier. Uh, yeah, that would have been helpful, Sue. <laughs> um, what else is there? There's a few, but that one's... It's worth looking up anyway. Um, yeah. I think, we'll I do think that there's, basically, there's basically one that means that the effect does extra damage or the effect penetrates through resistance, uh, which like their shielding. So, yes. Um, I, I think that's basically... It, it's basically you can sp spread shot extra damage or penetrating hit on armoured targets, I think is how it, it works. That's it. It would be uh, the uh, the unconscious Ulan. Uh, so, Bosch, what you going to do? Is there one still... There's one still standing and one that's jumped in the Jeffrey's tube, isn't there? There's mm -hmm. two still standing. And one yeah, one's grappling, in grappling with Varen at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Um, Ramming speed, Bosh. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to use a minor action to aim. And I'm going to shoot the one that's grappled with Lee. Oof, God. Please oh, have this aim be good. Okay. Um... This is going to be a difficulty one because uh, because of the aim. So that's a very good call. I am going to say you really don't want any complications. 
<laughs> but you've, you've increased the complication range there. So you, now complications fact, happen on 19s or 20s. In fact, do you know what? I'm going to use my, two of my threat to increase the difficulty by one back to a difficulty two. Okay. So it's a... You can you can use our last momentum to I, gain I an extra dice. Oh, you've yeah, got, yeah, got you've two momentum. Three momentum. Up as well, so. oh. I'll, I'll, I'll use one so I can you roll three dice. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. there you go. And uh, what's the uh, the it's uh, control sorry, what's security. The, yeah, control, control security to shoot the phaser. Okay, that's twelve. Uh, and the the six doesn't do anything. So that's a twelve dead on for the first one. Okay, meets beats. So that's good that's off. a two, and that's a four. Nice. Oof. Nice. Have a momentum back. Dead eye shot. Well done. Um, okay. Well um, done. It's a sort of shoulder, shoulder, side as 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 they really. <laughs> Roll <laughs> your damage, uh, which is uh, was it three dice plus your security? It's, yeah, that was a yeah, three plus that, that was a ballsy shot. That was that was nicely done. <laughs> yeah, um, very well. I thought Varen's actually grabbed the arm that she's just. Tried to get in with a knife, actually pulled her round into shot. And they're D <laughs> D6s, aren't they? They are. Yeah. No, that would be dope if that were the case. It's like, like we spin around and she and he just takes the opportunity to shoot her in the back when we're fighting. Okay, those are rubbish. Those are slightly better. Sixteen points of damage. Uh, no, it, it right. doesn't quite work like that. Oh, so sorry. for every one you roll mm -hmm. on your d6, you do one point of damage. For every two you roll, you do two points of damage. Uh -huh. For every three and four, you do zero. Okay. And every five and six, yeah. you do one point of damage, plus an effect if you've if you've prepared one. Okay, so four points of damage then. Four nice. Two two damage. ones and a two. The rest were fours. I liked it better with 16 points of damage, considering <laughs> yes. she only had nine left. But... <laughs> okay, and uh, she's looking a little bit unsteady on her feet, but she is still up. Um, Just uh, putting the Discord a little challenge dice result table from the book for everybody. Oh, nice. Ah, Thank yes. you. Um, the Melulan is going to... Grab his fallen comrade and disappear with him into the Jeffrey's tube. Fucking cowards. Ugh. Amy. Oh, um, where they're disappearing into, would I have an idea where that is? You just know it's a Jeffrey's to... tube, really. You, you know it's yep. a maintenance crawl way. Um, as okay. to where it goes, you wouldn't really know. Mm. Cool. Uh, Davok will take aim at the remaining Romulan and shoot his phaser. Okay. Uh, so you take aim, and this is difficulty one. Going to be difficulty one, but I'm going to do the same for you as I did to Bart. Use uh, all that stress. It is difficulty two. You still have plenty of momentum. Control yeah, momentum. plus security. Mm. You do have plenty of momentum. No. <laughs> two, two fails. Two, two fails. Two oh. fails. Okay. Um, no complications. No complications, though. That's a shame. <laughs> what is it? Jesus, Stu. <laughs> okay. Uh, Usher, we are back around to you. Oh, God. I'm going to, like, headbutt her. And keep this fight going. Keep it, uh, and I guess attempt to knock her down by using my minor action to knock her down. Okay, you use your uh, your minor action to prepare a knockdown. Make your unarmed strike. Uh, this is going to be difficulty one, daring and security. Daring and security. Good. Uh, again, sixteen for me. That's an eight and a seven. 
eight so and two seven, successes two successes Down. you get a momentum back uh, i'm keeping i'm keep i'll show you guys this dice later but i'm keeping this thing damn <laughs> really, really happy i bought that uh, so this is going to be uh 2d6 plus your security so uh five which is, so so seven seven d so seven Roll nice seven D6 okay it should be whatever okay. the numbers next to your phaser on the sheet yeah so i got one five so i don't know how that works with the knockdown i got two fives three fives excuse me three fives for uh, and then uh other than that three damage it did three more so six okay six. yeah five in one strike that's a oof, yeah. knockout yeah it was so... five three two one five one five so she crumples to the floor well you were doing lethal damage weren't you um oh you... yeah oh she's dead uh, she's not dead, um, but she has crumpled to the floor. Um, definitely. I'm going to take her knife. Unconscious. Okay, you now have a knife. Uh, All right, let's do it. So you might want to a take a note of this. Trophy hunter. The, uh, the, the dagger you have taken is a melee weapon. Okay. It is... Uh, okay. Three damage dice. It has All right, Romulan dagger of vicious one, deadly and hidden one. Nice. Vicious is good because every every effect you roll is an additional damage with the vicious um, mm. ability. Yeah. Vicious one, deadly, and what else? Hidden one. Hidden. Yeah. Hidden. Hidden. That means we can sneak okay. you into into diplomatic conferences with it. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm using it for. And you can try to. Um, Next time I'm in like the captain's mess. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are. Um, as you as she crumples to the floor, uh, you hear what sounds like a disruptor on the hatch to the Jeffrey's tube. Um, it's fairly easy to surmise that they are sealing it behind themselves. Gotcha. Are we out of combat? You are currently? out of combat, and this is probably a really good place to leave it for this evening. Ah, yeah. Awesome. So well done, you've all survived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One's dead. This is entirely 100% better than I did last time. Yay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So, well hey, done, <laughs> It's like mm. wonderful, Dava. Get the warp core. We're gonna celebrate. <laughs> it's waiting until we get back to the ship. I know. Absolutely, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So um, I look forward to seeing you all in a fortnight's time, unless you're about Sunday afternoon, four p.m. GMT. I'm doing my first ever Star Trek Sunday chat yes. about yes. all things. I'll be Trek. there. Wonderful. I'll be there, man. Sounds like looking nice forward thing. to it. So, uh, so yeah. It's, well done, uh, Davo everyone. Davok's turn to punch someone next week. I punched someone last time. Usher this time, so it's definitely uh, Amy's turn to punch yeah. somebody. <laughs> I, I feel know. like that's the case. <laughs> Brilliant. It's like we Fabulous. start. It's, we're going to start next week, and it's it's Amy's going to punch Lee and be like, "What? What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, Amy, you have a particular special unarmed thing, don't you? I. Do because I'm a Vulcan. Yeah, the Vulcan oh, death totally grip. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nice. Vulcan might death be useful. grip is not a thing. <laughs> there we go. Right, brilliant. Uh, see you all soon. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye. 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 Take it easy, guys.